Okay, greetings everyone, back again, answering more questions from my Q&A video. Um, again, following up with more questions from Raven Dream, who had initially asked me how long it took me to grow my beard, I, and I said that it was five years. Um, next up, she said, what movies are you particularly attached to? Again, too many to number. I mean, for there are moments in time where certain movies, even stuff I don't like, like I can nail down where I was when I saw it. Um, stuff... I don't know. I mean, there's definitely different things that made me feel different ways, you know, about things. Star Wars trilogy, you know, the original, definitely very seminal. I used to rent that thing like every weekend whenever I was in high school and just watch it and watch it and watch it. Um, just to try to get, I don't, I don't even know what I was looking for. I mean, it's like I, I always feel like that's a movie as well. There's a host of other ones that, you know, if the whole world came to an end, it's like you could almost shot for shot remake it from the collected knowledge of you know people who were still existing on the planet. So. Um, again, too many to name as far as stuff I'm attached to. Um, different movies make me feel different ways. There are movies that I don't like watching because it takes me back to a time that I like don't enjoy. Not because it's a bad movie, it's just because like in my head I'm like, man, wherever I was at at the time, it's just like not somewhere I want to go back to. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, it says, what are your thoughts on the recent superhero films and horror remakes that have been popping up lately? Uh, th for the superhero movies, I've been pretty pleased for the most part i thought um, spider-man is a book i read um frequently as a child and that's something that like when they made that first movie i thought it was great whenever they made the second movie i thought it was even better and the third movie like they jumped the shark and it was just really really bad but i don't blame on sam raimi i think it was just too much studio involvement too many people asking for things that didn't need to happen but um it is what it is you know i, I you know for the most part um I think it's been good though. I mean, I, I like the first um, Hulk movie. I know a lot of people didn't enjoy that. I like the X Men movies. I like the Superman movies. Obviously, the Batman movies are fantastic. There's not been a whole lot of them that um, I didn't like. Um, I didn't. There's been some of them I haven't seen. Like if I wasn't interested, I've got like the uh, the Punisher movie, but I never got around to watching it. I've never seen Elektra. I mean, I'm not gonna go see everything. Uh, Watchmen's another one that like everybody kind of talked up so much and I, th that was a book that when I read it I was like it was good but everyone treats it as like this you know masterpiece that I just don't see it's like it's it's good but it's not as great as that and I thought the film was you know mediocre at best it was a good way to spend two hours but nothing that was life affirming to me um, as far as the horror remakes go um, people have been asking me a lot of questions about that which I think is funny um, it's you know they're, they're good and bad I just I saw the Nightmare on Elm Street maybe a couple weeks ago. I didn't do a video on it just because I don't do a video on every movie I see because I, I don't want to be a reviewer. Um, I really didn't enjoy it. I just... Uh, and another thing is like I just don't like talking about movies that, you know, that I hate. You know, it's like I've got... I mean, I'm too, at a point in my life where I don't want to just sit around talking, you know, bitch and bitch about movies that I don't enjoy. It's just not somewhere I want to be. But um, I did think, you know, I thought the Nightmare movie was just just terrible. I mean, there was the, uh, the micro sleep thing was pretty cool. Some of the, you know, the cut scenes, but for the most part, I thought it was just a, a mess of a film. Uh, the Friday, the 13th remake they did a couple years back. The first 15 minutes are amazing. You make that into a short film, you know, I would be talking about for years about how cool it was. And then it just goes off into this weird place that, you know, um, I didn't really dig. Same thing, you know, Chainsaw Massacre and, you know, the Omniville remake and, oh God, I mean, there's been so many of them now. It's like, it's hard to name them piece by piece. And all of them have like these, Certain things I'm like, wow, that's cool that they did that, but I, it's I don't know, like I haven't seen anything yet where I'm like, man, this is like ten times better than the original film, or even you know, it's like nothing even has to be better, but for the most part, I haven't seen anything where I'm like, wow, this stands beside, or it's like I can enjoy this on top of. It's just uh, again, not to bitch more about it, but you know, there's a lot to complain about. But I mean, it's money. I mean, it's like and I totally get that. It's like it's, you know, they're they found a way to franchise something, and rather than do another sequel. Which I think, you know, it would have been just as bad to do another Friday the 13th sequel because as much as those movies can be enjoyable on one level or another, they're, I mean, a lot of them are just terrible, terrible movies. And, you know, people are just cashing checks. People got to work. And, you know, I get it. It's just like, I just don't need to see all of them. And the ones that I do see, you know, if I don't like them, I'm not going to sit around and just talk about how much I don't like them. It's just, it, it's played out. I mean, everybody does it. And I just don't want to go there. But, um, there you go. Uh, says name three or more um, movies which you believe should never have been made uh, any decade whatever you're familiar with I don't know and again that goes that plays to um, 
the fact that you know maybe stuff that I don't need to see, but someone else needs to see it. So as far as stuff that never needed to get made, I don't know if I could put that. Uh, you know, I don't know if I could name one, much less three. Uh, I mean, there's I can name dozens and dozens of movies I wish I'd never seen or you know had no use to me. But uh, I, I don't know. I can't really say that I can pick any movie that you know should not have been made. Um, other than like if it you know hurt somebody or you know cause you know um people to be hurt in any way but i don't know i mean again it's like people it gives people jobs it gives them something to do and plus it's, a, it's an art form in a sense so it's like you're you know when it may not be a story i'm interested in it's somebody's story to tell and i i totally get that and respect it so uh you know sorry about that I don't have anything to to say on that piece um, let's see, it's, I guess, EFC, B-E-N, or, or, let's see, EFC, Ben, UFC, S. would you shave your beard for charity? Uh, yeah, I think that's a killer idea. Um, if someone had a charity where it's like you could raise some real money for somebody, I would be all for that. Um, I'm not totally attached to this thing. I, it's definitely been good for me. Um, whenever I go to places, it's, I'm easily recognizable because of it, but I'm not stuck to it in the sense that if, uh, if something like that came up and you know it could help somebody i'd be all for it you know totally um let's see here speaking of superhero movies uh starbug 1s1 which is my buddy bracken asked he says i just saw iron man 2 have you seen it yet if you have what do you think about it? especially the scene after the credits roll no spoilers please uh luckily i can't spoil it because i haven't seen it again i think we're two or three weeks into iron man 2 just haven't got around to watching it yet. Got nothing against it. I thought the first movie was a lot of fun, but just never got there. Um, at some point this summer, I'm sure I will see it. Uh, he also has which is better, Jurassic Park Trilogy or Peter Jackson's King Kong? That's another King Kong question. Uh, or is there something even better that follows along those same types of movies? I don't think there is a better dinosaur movie than Jurassic Park, like period. I think Jurassic Park is just a wonderful movie when it came out i watched it over and over again when it came out on dvd i watched it over and over again i love jurassic park um the trilogy as a whole not great i think part two spielberg's you know least uh, i don't know worst effort i don't want to say worse because it's not a terrible movie it's there's a lot of things about that movie that i do enjoy but um definitely not the same work of brilliance that the first movie was um which is better i I would probably still give it to Jurassic Park. The thing I like about Peter Jackson's King Kong is he stuck it in the 1930s. Um, he showed a lot of love for the characters and just tried to build something more. You know, I mean, you could talk about the ice skating scene and everything else, and there's a lot of there's a lot of pad in there. But uh, it's a great movie. I mean, if you and again, I've never been the kind of person that's like, oh, movie's too long. It's like, man, if you're gonna pay ten bucks, like, go enjoy it. evening at the cinema, stay there for four hours, do the intermission, just have a good time. Say so it's you know. It's a couple hours out of your life, and it's you know it's a pretty fun movie. So which is better? I'm gonna give it to Jurassic Park, um, just because I love 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 that movie. Um, let's see. And compelled to kill, compelled with three. Ask, are you Amish? You know, a long beard, strictly religious, living in the dark ages, milking cows in the morning, going to the well in the evening. Ha ha. Um, no compelled to kill. I'm not an Amish person. I uh, clearly have a computer and a camera. No, I'm just kidding, man. Uh, no, say but. People dig the beard, man. It's like, what are you, what are you gonna do? Um, I have never milked a cow, though. I did grow up on a cattle ranch. Not, we didn't milk cows, though. We killed them and ate them for their meat. So, anyways, with that, I'm gonna jump to the next video because I think I'm getting close uh, to the end there. So, catch you guys in a minute. Bye.